Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are deep in the throes of Vlogmas and I was gonna show this on my vlog, but I figured, hey, this would be like a really fun video to show how I actually wrap gifts. I know there's a million of these out on YouTube, but I just thought it would be fun to show. People always comment about my gift wrapping, so why not? Uh, this is a gift that I'm actually giving tomorrow, so don't worry, everybody can watch this. Plus, I'm actually not gonna upload this until this upcoming Wednesday, so if you're seeing this on Wednesday, hello, this is actually the day I'm supposed to be putting it up. So my supplies I'm using, I'm just using some craft paper, I've already kinda cut it to size. This edge is really, really jagged, so I'm actually gonna trim it down a little bit. So I'm just gonna use some tape, I'm gonna use some accoutrements in a little bit. But yeah, so I figured I would kind of just stand here and show you how I do this. Um, I actually used to work somewhere. Like I'm just, oops, like sizing up the little edge here so it doesn't like go over. Um, I actually used to work at a place that did free gift wrapping. And this was how, like the method that they used. So what you do is you kind of fold the little lip over and then you do like a crease on the box. Does that make sense? You like kind of take your nails and do that. And then you tape it to the box. All right, we got it? You with me so far? All right, cool. And then we push it down to make sure that it's like a clean edge right here. You can if you want to score it right now, which I am obviously, but you don't have to. You can do that at the very end. But I just like to push it down to make sure. And then you fold this guy over and then the edge of my box is right here. So what I will do is I'll actually cut right here and I'll show you why I'm doing that in a second. And that edge does not need to be perfect because we are going to cover that up. And you're probably thinking, well, why didn't you do it over here? Because that's where it ends. Nope, we're not going to do that. We are going to make a seamless package. So what we do is we just pull really tight all the way around. And then we make another creased edge right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crease it again and then it will line up perfectly. Do you guys see that? It'll line up perfect. So it's a seamless package, get it? Now what I do is I take the tape and I'm actually gonna put a bow around this one. So um, I kind of push down like where the edges are cause I'm gonna obviously do those in a second and I'll kind of eyeball the center. Whoops. <laughs> fail, um, push that down and then I kind of just pull it to make sure that it's tight all the way around and then I do that. And then I'll go around and score the other two sides that I haven't and then if you haven't scored this side at this time, that's what I do. Okay, obviously this side is a whole lot longer than this side, so I'm gonna trim this down real quick. And again, the trimming doesn't need to be perfect, I just wanna make sure that there's not a ton of overlap. All right, so that is done. And then you take this side that has the tape. Do you guys see that? Yeah, there we go, there's the reflection. Um, and then I score it down again. And there's a billion ways to do this on this side. It's kind of just whatever works for you. I'm a fan of taping the box because I feel like you get a crisper edge that way. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then Scoring it down, and then scoring it down again, so it looks like that. See, and then I'm gonna push it up, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna actually make sure that this is kind of a straight line over here. All right, so then it's gonna look like that, but I'm gonna score these so they're gonna look a little bit better. So the sides aren't always seamless, obviously, but that's okay. Oh man. But I like to score the edges because it just makes it look really nice and crisp and clean. So that is how my finished edge looks. 
All right, so let's do the next one. In this box of Legos, there's something like stuck like right there. <laughs> it's like really, really uh, bumpy in the box there. All right. And the reason I like tape is because it, like sometimes this will pop up and I don't like that. I want it to kind of settle itself down. So this is kind of like my gift wrapping tutorial. I don't know if I've ever, I think I did this like back in the day when I had a blog, which by the way is linked below. I haven't posted to it in years. If you guys want to check out a very archaic version of favorite daughter Emily, feel free. Um, but yeah, so uh, I think I showed a little bit of gift wrapping on there at one point. I mean, you're gonna have to go back far, but yeah. Okay, so that is it. My edges are all crisp and clean and look professional. So I'm gonna grab my ribbon and then we'll go to town on this thing. Okay, so here is the ribbon I am going to use. It's just like a really dark navy with some ivory stitching and we are going to use this. Um, I don't know where I got this. This has been like many, many years ago. Obviously I've taken it off the roll and it's a really, really long <laughs> piece, but this is also another way that I wrap presents as well. So I also like to make not a seamless bottom, but like a divotless bottom with my wrapping. And let me show you how I do that. So like I just take my ribbon and I go like this. And the reason why is because I'm making half of my ribbon loop right now. So this is essentially like the bunny ear and this is the tail. And then, so I wanna start right here because I need this to make my bow at the end, if that makes sense. All right, and then I start at the top and then I hold my finger down and then I run it underneath. Sorry, I didn't show that very well. I run it underneath and then I turn it like this and then I run it underneath again. So really all of the knots are on the top. All right, and then when you get up here, then it's all loop-de-loop -loop up there. But then you kind of eyeball it and figure out where, you know, you would need for making your bow. And then I feel like that's enough. All right, so now you're thinking, oh my gosh, how's she gonna do this? Well, we just go under, over, under. So I go underneath this and loop it through. And then I go over the next one. And then I go under the next one. So over, under, over, under. <laughs> Sorry, uh, the holiday cheer is getting to me. All right, so now it's essentially not a knot, but almost. So what you wanna do is you just wanna take one of your little bunny ears, and then I like to go over. Some people do under, but the reason I like over is because I feel like um, the bow looks better in the end and you don't see the knot as much. And so I like to make sure that the center of it isn't like twisted or anything, that it's just even and straight and then I just go straight through to the back and pull it out. But I like to kind of keep my finger right, you know, right here, if that makes sense, because I just don't want it to all come apart. And then that's how I make my bow. Ta-da! All right, and like, I feel like this is a little bit like down a little too far. What the nice thing you can do with this is you can actually move these around a little bit to kind of achieve what you're trying to do. Um, also, if you're trying to cover up any tape, you can do that as well. So that is how I do my bow. Usually at the end, you know, sometimes these get a little frayed. So what I like to do is I just like to finish off the edges. Um, you can do like a fancy cut. I don't know, I'm not really into the fancy cut, like where you kind of take it in half and slice it. Eh, I'm not really into it. Um, I just like a basic cut like that. I think that looks nice. So then that is what you get in the end. Um, again, you can like push this more to the top where I could put the knot like further up. Um, obviously the sides would just be kind of parallel if that makes sense. Um, but that is how I do my gift wrapping. This is probably a short and sweet little video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, kind of a taking a peek at how I gift wrap. Um, and I have my fun little ribbon here too. If you guys have any questions about gift wrapping, like please leave them below. I'm always like really interested in, you know, what 
what people do for their gift wrapping needs. But again, I worked at a retail location that did lots and lots of gift wrapping and I was like the gift wrap queen and I absolutely love just sitting in back and gift wrapping like that was totally my jam also if you want to you can put like little things on here as well um, this is a really small package so I don't have like a really a room for like a seal or anything like a seal would essentially be like a sticker um, I do have these that I've had for quite a while they're just like I don't know a little like branch berry things they're kind of like in this ivory that matches so um, and it's got like this little it almost seems like a little like a bobby pin on the back so the nice thing about these, and I can't remember where I got these, I think I might have gotten them at like World Market many years ago, is you can essentially just like clip these on, or you can just stick them right in the center here. So it just looks really, really cute. Kind of fun. If you feel like it's lacking a little bit, you can always shove a couple of them in there. Also, this is great to do with like ornaments and things like that or just going to the craft store and grabbing like those long vines and branches and just popping off like the holly berries and things like that and then putting them um, as a little extra tie on your gift, which is really, really cute. So that is how I gift wrap everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was just kind of a fun little thing to show. And I know right now is like major gift wrapping season. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to you. Maybe I'll do more gift wrapping in the future, but you know, let me know if you like gift wrapping things. This was just a quick little thing I wanted to share because tis the season, you know? Anyway, well, I am gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for little part of your day. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, hit that subscribe button. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content for you guys, as well as if you're watching this in December of 2016, I am currently doing Vlogmas, so I am attempting to upload every day. However, I am filming every day, so if you don't see a video from me every day, it's okay, I'll have more coming up. All right, so I'm gonna go. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will talk to you later.